On January the 27th of 2012, the experimental deep dive team assembled at Nemo 33 in Echo, Belgium, the deepest pool in the world. This group of sport divers was supported by experiment leaders, support divers, photographers and underwater camera crews. The purpose of the meeting was to scientifically demonstrate the effect of depth on the intellectual ability of a diver. This negative effect on intelligence and memory increases with the depth because of the increase of the partial pressure of nitrogen. This pressure negatively affects the function of our nervous system. Because of its similarities, it is sometimes called nitrogen narcosis or depth intoxication. To demonstrate the effect of nitrogen narcosis, the divers were subjected to two written tests at 2 meters and at 35 meters. The first test was a 7 minute intelligence test wherein the diver had to complete as much as possible series. The second was a memory test in the form of imaginary fishes. For this memory test, the divers were given the time to study the fishes. After the wet time, they had to recall the characteristics of the fishes. This test corresponds to seeing an unknown fish and then try to identify it after the dive with the aid of a fish recognition book. For a good experiment, factors such as a learning curve, cold, light had to be kept under control. Therefore, the group consisted of a mix of divers, beginners and instructors, men and women, old and young. Also, a good experimental design and a detailed preparation helped to limit the uncontrolled elements. After the briefing, the experiment was simulated at the surface. Only when everyone knew his task, the experiment was run in the deep pool. Thanks to the preparation, support and discipline of the divers, the experiment went well. At the end, it was time for the analysis and some conclusions. 1. Depth makes us think slower and makes us more prone to mistakes. 2. Neither experience nor gender protects us from these effects. Depth has the same negative consequences for novice divers as for instructors, and for women as for men. 3. Never trust the fish memory of your body. It is nearly impossible to recall enough characteristics of an unknown fish to determine it with the use of a book.